Hollywood has a special affinity for wrecking expensive cars. There are so many great chase scenes where a car gets destroyed. We'd be sitting here all day if we decided to list them all. Well, while we can't talk about every single supercar that fell victim to Hollywood, what we can do is list the 10 most expensive ones. Stick around till the end to find out which car came out on top. First up at number 10, we have the Porsche 917 from Le Mans. The 917 is one of Porsche's most popular cars. It's easily at the top of the list when we talk about influential cars. The car gained much notoriety for claiming victory at the 1970 Le Mans. While the car's cutting edge technology and sleek design were enough to justify its hefty price tag, its insane racing pedigree helped too. But even the car's top-notch specs and massive fan base could not save it from being destroyed by Steve McQueen's Le Mans in 1971. While several cars were destroyed in the film, the most expensive one ended up being unplanned. They were filming a high-speed race when the incident happened. The driver, David Piper, blew a tire, which caused his Porsche 917 to spin out of control and collide with barriers on both sides of the track. Fortunately, Piper survived the crash but lost a leg in the process. However, the filmmakers did make it up to him by giving him the entire global revenue of the movie's first day in theaters. The destroyed Porsche was restored after filming and sold for approximately $14 million in 2017. Moving on to number 9 with Aston Martin DBS from Casino Royale. Aston Martin has almost become synonymous with James Bond. Every time we hear the name, we can think of 007 driving it around town, hunting down bad guys. And while Bond may be known for his fast cars, the sad truth is that most of these vehicles end up at the scrapyard once the man with a license to kill is done with them. This rings especially true for the Aston Martin DBS, used in the Bond classic Casino Royale. The best part is, though, the car got to go out in one of the movie's most iconic scenes. Bond is driving his DBS when he notices a woman lying on the road, forcing him to veer off track. The DBS then barrel rolls down the road before eventually stopping. Exactly the kind of send-off one would expect for a car like this. Up next at number 8 is the Lamborghini Murcielago LP640 from The Dark Knight. Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight trilogy is widely considered the blueprint for all superhero movies. Well, at least the good ones, that is. It's an iconic and era-defining film that changed how we looked at Batman forever. However, we and millions of petrol heads worldwide have just one gripe with the movie. In the 2008 film, the producers decided it would be a good idea to destroy a Lamborghini Murcielago. If you don't know why this is such a huge deal, get this. Only 21 units of this car were built. It's like one of the rarest cars ever, and they wrecked one for a movie. At least it went out for a good cause. In the film, one of Bruce Wayne's employees is about to reveal his true identity. Incidentally, the Joker is also about to assassinate this same employee. So Wayne does what any rational billionaire would. He races the man down the road to stop him from being killed. Batman crashes into the car carrying his employee and rescues him. And while he does save the day, the same can't be said for the Murcielago. The car gets completely totaled and isn't seen in the movie again. Couldn't you just take out the Batmobile or literally any of the dozen cars you have lying around in your garage that day, Bruce? Why did it have to be the Lambo? Coming up at number 7, 1967, Chevrolet Corvette Stingray from Con Air. Second generation Corvettes have been a mainstay in Hollywood for quite a while now, and why shouldn't they be? It doesn't get much better than C2 Chevrolets when we're talking about classic vets. They are the perfect combo of beauty, elegance, and power. And while everyone loves seeing a vet grace the big screen, when one of these beauties gets destroyed, it always leaves a sour taste in every gearhead's mouth. This was the case with the 1997 film Con Air. This film is responsible for destroying not only one, but two gorgeous vets. First, they hooked a 
SD7, Corvette Stingray to a plane, and crashed into a tall tower before dropping it to the ground. And then, towards the film's end, they repeat their heinous crime by running a plane into an early white C4-8490. Talk about being ungrateful, huh? Well, at least the car owner in the movie had it coming, but we're still kinda pissed. Let's follow that up with the Lycan Hypersport from Fast and Furious 7 at number 6. The Fast and Furious is the go-to franchise for every gearhead that loves insane action, car chases, and mind-numbing destruction with a side of drama and romance. Over the last two decades, the franchise is said to have destroyed over a thousand cars, but none hurt as much as the ultra-rare Lycan Hypersport. Only a handful of models were made available to the public, and it's one of the rarest supercars to be produced. But that wasn't enough to stop Dom Toretto from flying the car off a skyscraper. The car was destroyed, but somehow Dom and Brian made it out alive. We honestly would have taken the car instead. Many things that happened in the Lycan Hypersport scenes may have been the movie's magic, but it's still heartbreaking to see such a gorgeous car be treated like that. Taking the fifth spot on our list is the 1961 Ferrari 250 GT California from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. In the 1986 classic Ferris Bueller's Day Off, Cameron lands himself in deep water when he accidentally wrecks one of his dad's most prized possessions, a 1961 Ferrari 250 GT California. Now, while any Ferrari model would have had the same effect, this one's special because it's extremely rare and a single car can cost as much as $10 million. But you don't have to cringe too hard. The car used during the rest of the movie and the destroyed stunt car were both replicas. However, that didn't stop one bidder from paying $122,000 for the undamaged replica at an auction in 2010. Next up at number four is the Lamborghini Huracan from Doctor Strange. The fascinating part is that Doctor Strange probably wouldn't even exist if this hadn't been destroyed. Stephen Strange had it all. He was at the peak of his career with loads of money to spend, but everything came crashing down when he got into an accident. The first Doctor Strange film established Stephen as a careless and selfish man who had no regard for the rules. He ends up paying the price for his recklessness when his Lamborghini spins out of control, tumbles off a cliff, and crashes into a lake, leaving him severely crippled. From there, the doc starts a journey of self-discovery and eventually becomes the Sorcerer Supreme. Who knew getting into a car crash could give you superpowers? Now, don't be getting any ideas, though. Now, at number three is the Aston Martin DB5 from Goldfinger. The DB5 is unquestionably the most iconic Aston Martin featured in a James Bond film. The interesting part is that Aston Martin wasn't even the studio's first choice. The DB5 became the definitive Bond car after Jaguar passed on an excellent opportunity to provide a car for Goldfinger. The machine gun wielding DB5 is wrecked in the 1964 film after 007 crashes it into a wall during a car chase. The car sold for a whopping $4.6 million in 2010. Coming in second, 1967 Shelby Mustang GT500 from Gone in 60 seconds. The 1967 Shelby Mustang GT500 is an icon of the American automobile industry. It is one of the best muscle cars of the 1960s and probably all time. While there are countless reasons to love the 1967 Shelby GT500, the fact that it was destroyed in Nick Cage's Gone in 60 Seconds is just the cherry on top of the cake, albeit a very tough one to swallow. Now, don't worry, no Shelbys were hurt during the production of this film. However, five of the 12 replicas created specifically for the film weren't so fortunate, but the fact that they were replicas doesn't make us feel any better. Finally, at the number one spot is Lamborghini Mura P400 from The Italian Job. Lamborghini blew away every car enthusiast when it introduced the Mura in 1966. Everyone lauded the car's beautiful 
beautiful curves, and it wasn't long before movie producers began using it in their productions. But we honestly wish they didn't. The things this poor car has been through, because no gearhead will be able to forgive the time a Mura was crushed by a bulldozer and dropped off a cliff in the Italian job. They just can't let good things live in peace, can they? That's a wrap for this video. Have you ever seen someone wreck a really expensive car in real life? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you at the next one.